Hey everyone and welcome back to part 4 of our Norselands playthrough for Kingdom Two Crowns on the Curse difficulty. Last time we just about grabbed Sleipnir and we were preparing to move on to the next island, although we've still got a lot of boat building to do, as you can see. So until then we're just going to keep ticking along, making the most out of our friend the merchant here getting as many trips out of them as possible, courtesy of Yalahorn. But overall, nothing too exciting, just going to be ticking along. Or at least I hope there's not going to be anything too exciting happening in this episode. We might face a blood moon, but again, fingers crossed, it won't be anything too difficult. We're currently... oh okay, I guess the merchant doesn't want to take my portal because he's only decided to stand there. No, nope, changed his mind. This is one of the difficulties with the merchant or with the portal. It does rely on them being consistent with their AI and you can see he's not so consistent. He will stop here and if we pay him, he'll hopefully take the portals to come back in, but we'll see. But anyway, I got a little bit distracted. We're currently on day 24 overall. I'm not quite sure how often the... Oh, he doesn't want to move anymore. I'm not quite sure how often the blood moons are going to hit on this difficulty. I think the first one started somewhere around day 14 or something like that. So there is a good chance if it stays at the same rate that we'll see another blood moon relatively soon. Should probably have spent more time upgrading this wall and this uh, defense here. It's important to remember to take your portal back in before night time because yet again that would have given some greed a free pass into our walls and we don't really want that. Don't really want to risk the dog being lost so I'm not going to charge at any greed with the horse instead I will continue to charge away from them. Left that one very late. There's another one who's had his Weetabix. We can show off the charge on the offense there, as it was relatively safe. And now let's get some upgrades in. And more importantly, we should also go and start building the boat because there's really no need to stick around here any longer than we need to. It's important to try and get through these first islands as quickly as possible so that we're facing as uh, nice agreed waves as we can when it comes to the late game. So it's going to be an exciting morning of buying more pieces for the boat. I'm glad you're here to join me for it. I'm quite happy to spend all of my coins on that because we have the merchant waiting and we also have some farms which should have some coins for us as well. Oh, so now the town centre is fine for the merchant. Bit of a picky one. So now that wall is fully upgraded. I can't remember what level the uh, archery tower has to be for the hermit to be used to upgrade it. I think it's still one or two ahead of that. Turning down my headphones because my music's a little bit too loud. 
very important detail that you needed to know. But that will uh, potentially explain if my voice sounds a little different now. Starting to get quite close to the end of that. See if we can speed up the merchant this time. Yeah, there we go. That's how it's supposed to work. And hopefully, he'll take the same portal to head back. Wonderful. So we may even get a, another visit before nightfall. Don't think we are going to have time to go back and do any more upgrades for our boat or buy any more pieces. It is getting a little late in the day. And it doesn't look like the merchant's too interested, so we'll recall our portals. Have we still got our builders out here? Nope. That's good. Okay, so merchant's a bit of a weird bloke. There's our enemy. We'll be a little bit more cautious this time with when we use the fire. We'll check the other side, see how they're getting on. Now, they appear to have dealt with their problems. Now it's far too busy for that merchant. So hopefully we're going to be able to leave this island today. Doesn't look as though there's too many more um, pieces to build. We are going to want to make sure we leave with a full bag of coins. We're also going to set up our portal there because if we do leave today it will make sure that that uh, squire moves along a little bit quicker, gets to the boat a little bit quicker. Hmm. Disappointed in their hunting abilities on this side of the island. We'll have ourselves another little graze. Any more from our farmers? Doesn't look like it just yet. We'll see if the merchant's made his way back. Almost. Ooh. Sorry, fellas. Didn't mean to set you on fire. Okay. Leaving today looks a little bit optimistic. So probably tomorrow morning just because that gives us a bit more time to accrue a few more coins however we will be able to get the boat launched today so we can leave pretty quickly the next day We are going to wait until 
the morning of the next day though because there is a chance it will be a blood moon and we don't want to do what we did on the last island and have the first nightly attack on the fourth island be a blood moon one because we just won't have the uh, defenses for it. I like that guy's helmet. It's a good helmet. That guy came pretty close to getting a dog. Not quite close enough though. And that is the night sorted, so let's see what the day brings us. Okay, so no sign of a blood moon. I am thinking there's going to be one relatively soon though, but if we've at least got a couple of days to get ourselves set up on the next island, we should be fine. Famous last words. Forgot whether or not I actually gave those squires any coins, turns out I did. Might as well see if we can get something off of the farmers, even if it does overflow our bag a little bit. Mm, not much to offer, but still better than nothing. Don't want to go on the boat without having a nice little graze first. That looks as though we literally don't have enough archers to fill that gap. I'm not going to wait around just to recruit one more though, so we'll head onwards. Yeah, so the only thing we didn't get on that island was uh, Mjolnir, but we don't really need that as we're focusing on Yalahorn this playthrough. Should make destroying portals a lot easier. Okay, so the boat is once again right next to our base, which is quite handy. And it's time to start clearing some trees. Ooh. Didn't mean to pay our hermit friend anything. Give a little wiggle over here. Obviously we're going to want to do some exploring in the next couple days, but uh, for now we just want to see if there's any nearby camps, which nothing's super nearby on this side. A 
Luckily, it looks as though there's plenty of room for hunting. So we shouldn't have to worry too much about our coins. However, we do need to keep upgrading our town centre, get some walls built. We don't have the pleasure of a merchant on this island, so all our coins are going to have to be our own. Level 1 walls should be fine to defend ourselves for this first night, but we'll find out whether or not that's a mistake pretty soon. This upgrade will cause any walls to upgrade. Nope. Which is good. Once again, we'll keep an eye out on the right hand side because there's only one squire. Okay, so turns out that wasn't too bad at all. Time to just continue chopping down some trees and probably do a bit of exploring. So we'll get ourselves our little grazed buff and head on into the woods. Is handy to have one relatively close on the left there. And another one also before at any portals on the left. So this should be the farm or farming statue which we'll come back to shortly. Just want to see what else there is on this side of the island. I believe that's probably the Berserker Hermit. Can't remember off the top of my head though, but the uh, decoration certainly looks like it. That means we should find, well let's have a look at the map, we should find Hell's statue on the right which we did already get a glimpse of and the Kelpie. We were too close to that for a little bit too long, that portal that is. Might as well get this while we're here. It is a little disturbing that we only came across a couple of portals on this side. That does imply that the right hand side has probably the other portals, which should equal, I guess, around four. But that's, uh, that's a future problem for us. It is quite late in the day, I believe. It's a bit misty, so it's hard to tell. But we should 
definitely try and upgrade our town centre again if possible before nightfall, get those second or third level walls. We're just going to focus on archers for the time being because we should have enough builders to get most stuff built. This is going to be a tricky one because winter should kick in, I think, around day 48. I think it's 16 day seasons and we're at 27. So hopefully we should be able to get to the fifth island and start building up to destroy the portal there or at least have pretty good defenses before winter hits that may slow us down when moving on to the sixth island though but at that point we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves we're still on the fourth island so let's see what we've got that was a little uh, preemptive but it will still take out a few Pretty quick um, increase in the number of greed. I think that's up to about five or six and one of them masked, so not the easiest task. But anyway, we will head on and explore because there's no time like the present. And here is where we would get the Hell Skull artifact if we were looking to use it, but we're not that interested in it. Again, Yalahorn is just too damn useful. This is what we really want, though. Not as quick or glamorous as Sleipnir, but um, still looks pretty damn cool. And that ability to graze anywhere is very useful. So far we've only been past uh, one portal on this side. There's another one. I imagine we'll have them in pretty quick succession here. Oh, okay. Not as many portals as I was expecting, but I think they're distributed a little bit differently on Norse lands just because you have that extra island. I actually think judging by the map it was the um, stable hermit that was on this island. Not really one we're interested in because I don't think we're going to be wanting to swap around mounts too much. We're a one mount kind of monarch. As you can see the Kelpie's stamina does go on for quite a while. Even if we're not moving as quickly as other mounts it does still end up being quicker overall. I don't think we're going to have enough to upgrade our town centre just yet, we'll find out. Actually that's probably a mistake, because that may well upgrade the walls. Definitely something we don't want to do. I am expecting that in the next few nights we'll have a blood moon attack, but we'll just sort of approach the next few days quite cautiously. Hopefully it will give us a bit of a heads up at daybreak. That was just to uh, clear a few coins from my pouch. 
no particular reason. like Thor's back to being angry that we didn't take his hammer. Okay, now we should be able to upgrade our town center. And that one didn't even do the walls, so don't know what I'm getting worked up about. Right, let's see, probably worth expanding our wall on this side in order to get that farm involved. Don't believe there's anything else we want on this island, so no point wasting space in our bag with gems. worth recruiting a few more people just so that we've got either more archers or more archers and another builder. Once again our goal is pretty much just to get the boat built as quickly as possible and move on to the next island. First, we do want to make sure our city centre is upgraded as possible. Any farms on this side? I don't think there were. Hmm. No, that's way too close to the portal to bother expanding out this far. I think for the time being, we're probably fine with just beefing up our defences here. I think that's as upgraded as our town centre is going to get with this level of technology. I can't remember if there's one more level or not. That sky looks real sinister. Wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow had a blood moon. We are on day 30 and that top right was very red as you can see. Just grab it up again. It's pretty cool that they start adding in these little indicators. Don't think you got um, as many heads up. And there it is. Blood Moon. Didn't get the dawn warning, but better than nothing. And it looks as though they're going to be coming from the right hand side. And by the sounds of that, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a hermit crab with them. Fortunately, our Kelpie should help with that. Oh yeah, there he is. Want to tie, tie my wave just right to give our archers a chance to get him and also to prevent him crushing our walls. As you can see, that was actually quite straightforward. So that's another Blood Moon dealt with. Again, we're not gonna have the luxury of a knight free from attacks. 
However, we do have everything that we wanted from this island, so we can just start building the boat. I may have missed it being red letters at the start of yesterday, but um, it's blue the day after a blood moon by the looks of things, as you can see in the top right again. Pretty cool. We will go for this final day before ending the park, just so that we can get the boat built and maybe have a bit more of an active next part. Don't know if we will have enough time in the next one to be able to start destroying portals, but you never know, we'll find out. I should probably collect a few more coins before I go exploring down into uh, the woods to get a few more settlers or villagers. That was weird. They were both stood directly on top of each other. Gotta love that AI. Okay, I don't think we're going to need a farm on this island. We've got a pretty decent income from our hunters who are letting me down as I say that. It just doesn't really seem worth expanding again for the coins. We'll give it a bit of consideration. Depends how well these archers have done. Not fantastically. That looks like it's coming around to night time again. So maybe we'll save those villagers to potentially become farmers. I wonder if we can quickly... Ah, there's no need to get a level 1 farm out, to be honest. Because we don't have the ability to buy farmers yet. very quiet night. I suppose, I don't know if uh, it's always this quiet the night after a blood moon. Dog isn't making any noise. Maybe not every night after a blood moon has attacks. That feels a little bit dodgy. Our first blood moon did come when jumping between islands, so maybe that would explain why we had the greed attack immediately after. Okay, we'll let that mystery continue on until the next blood moon. But that's it for this time. If you're looking for more tips and guides, then check out some of my other videos. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.